What is up, Harmoniacs? Pyrostasis here, and we are back in the world of Feed the Beast uh, Horizons. And I do want to apologize in advance for the way I sound. I am still getting over the flu. It's turned into a full-blown uh, cold, chest cold, head cold, whatever the hell you want to call it. Screwing my day up cold. And uh, I'm all right for the most part. The issue I have now is my body likes to, uh, to cough vigorously even when it shouldn't need to cough. Like, there's nothing in my lungs anymore, but it just wants to be difficult. Uh, whoops. Isn't it like that? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I will do my best not to cough in you guys' ears, but uh, if you hear cough, I do apologize for that in advance. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, so we're going to make some more yeast. The reason we're doing that, we need the yeast. We need the, uh, the stuffs. And we're just going to leave that running where it is uh, at that level. We found out yesterday that this was, uh, that's about what it needs. Now, I've been told if I leave some yeast in here, it will multiply. I don't know if there's any actual truth to that. We are going to test it out, though, uh, because I am going to take all of the, uh, once it's done, I'm going to take all but, like, half of it out. And we'll see. So we've got, uh, what? Let's leave two in there. All right, so we got we got two in there. Left. We'll leave those two in. I, I don't. I think it's bullshit, and I don't think it actually is going to work, but it's it's possible. So we're going to leave it. We're going to see what it does. Uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't work, but hey, if it does, outstanding. So um, we got two in there. We'll check it here in a minute. Okay, right over here, um, we have our two um, crappy engines that we are no longer going to be using. Uh, these were great engines. They uh, they really worked for a long time. They were they were helpful. They did their job. They were loyal. And now we're going to retire them. Probably have them executed. Um, just you know because I mean, here in in communist pyromania we, we we can't have we can't have derisive former engines trying to power up a, a rebellion or something. It just it's unacceptable. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a new type of engine today. And this engine, the single engine, will be as powerful as one of those prior engines. This is the performance engine. Now thankfully it's not too hard to make this one. Uh, for the most part, I think everything here is pretty easy. Uh, the only issue that we're running into is we're actually pretty low on gold. Uh, thankfully we have just enough to where we can make all of the parts for one engine uh, without having any issues. Do I have redstone? I do have redstone on me. Well, holy shit. All right, put that in there, thank you. Uh, I got my shaft unit, right? Oh yeah, I got my shaft unit. All right, so we need two X gears. We're gonna need to make another shaft unit. If I recall, those are like that, that they are. And then we need bam, bam, and then boom, and boom, right? All right, so that's that. We need uh, two of these cylinders, which is a ridiculous amount of freaking HSLAs. There we go. All right, so we got those, we got that, we got that, we got that, we got that, we got that. Uh, we've only got one of those, so we'll go ahead and make a couple more. And then the last thing that we're missing is this guy right here. We have one of those, we'll go ahead and just surround him. So we didn't even have to make any more stuff. I feel special. Yay. Okay. So if I remember right, it's like that. Um, you're there. You're there. You're there. And then, uh, hmm, like that. Yeah, there we go. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. All right, let's, uh, let's break this. Let's break you. And we're not going to need you anymore. At least not for now. We're just going to slap you down right there. Let's get our wrench. Where's our wrench? Or screwdriver. I guess it's over here in the bucket. Help if I remember to pick this thing up. There we go. All right. So this is our new engine. He's amazing. He's awesome. Uh, we are going to need one more lever, which I unfortunately do not have. How are you doing here? That is not duplicated yet. I'm actually turn the power off to that thing. Thing is annoying. I swear. 
All right, I'm gonna put you there. Uh, I'm gonna open this up, see if we can actually see a lever. I don't see one, so we'll just make another one real quick. There we go. And do I have any blaze powders in here? Surely I do. I know we've got some, man. Don't bullshit me. That's the only problem with this crate, is like, they're amazing for storing things so easily. But when you actually need something, like, specific... Ah, there they are. There we are. 30 blaze rods. That's pretty good. Um, and we need to put these through the pulverizer. We'll make sure nothing is spitting out real quick. We'll put it in there. That's going to give us plenty of those. How are we doing there? Fill you back up. About halfway. That's not too bad. Ooh, sulfur. I did not know that. Now, we have our blaze spawner upstairs. Um, for those of you guys who may not have followed my series regularly, you may be wondering, where'd you get all those blaze rods? Um, we did use the, I think it's the tunnel bore in Rotary Craft to steal the blaze spawner, which you can see right here. We've got it set up so we can uh, we can get in here and, and, and kick ass and take names. Ah! Okay, well, apparently, apparently he's not very happy with us today mean man um i need to get i need to talk to oppie about getting like access to that room she needs to send me up like an access point so i can actually get in there and and work all right all right let's run over here and uh as you can see with this you've got the left side and the right side that's the two separate uh, that's the fuel mixture, so to speak, which we're going to be putting in here in just a second. All right, we got a stack and a half. That's more than we've actually got ethanol crystals for. Um, now that we've got the yeast, with the yeast, if we get some trees, we can actually make some sludge. Now, I believe I've got a stack of trees right there. Not a stack, but almost enough for that. Do we have any more trees around here? Surely we do. Don't make me go back upstairs for trees. Ugh, stupid trees. All right, fuck it. We'll just run with what we got. Pull that out, because it's not gonna turn into anything anyway. I'm 99% sure. All right, and then we put the trees down here in the bottom. Flip that, and that's gonna produce sludge for us. Be really nice if this would duplicate the sludge again, like give you a chance at making like two a time instead of three at a time, but oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. So these right here, this sludge that we get, and I showed you guys this last time, uh, you put this in a smelter, it makes ethanol crystals, and then uh, you use the ethanol crystals and the blaze powders, and you're pretty much good to go from there. And this is what we need the massive amount of um, trees for. So, I mean, it's it's not too bad. You know, we're gonna need a, eventually we're gonna need a tree farm, we're gonna need a um, sugarcane farm, and the two of those things together. Uh, we should be able to rapidly scale this side of the project up a lot faster than we were able to do with the other one. And not only that, but the nice thing is we're back to dealing with fuel again as the, the proverbial cock block, as opposed to, um, what is it? Micro Teslas, which I think are just completely fucking annoying. All right. So right now you can see we've got zero juice in there. I've never used this engine before. So this should be interesting. And you can see out over there, we got that. And then it drained all of the fuel like instantaneously. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay, how much are you? Wow. So it's outputting 262 joules and it's actually heating up. It's got fuel for 22 minutes. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. And as you can see over here, we're, we're loading it up fairly fast. So this right here is putting out uh, twice the power that the other one was. So that should be charging this thing up uh, significantly faster, which will be nice. And then we just simply need to make 
more of the other process here and things will uh, things will get a little bit quicker a little bit faster and we will be in better shape all right let me put some more of these crystals in here and then we're going to go take a look at the farm there we go all right how are we doing on fuel now now we're at 91 c 93 c i don't know if it will actually produce better the hotter it gets or what and I don't know what this little black line is over here this is weird this is very weird either way as long as it's enough to keep it from exploding and it, it works I, I think the UI is messed up I, it may be my texture pack or it may just be um, it may just be a little twerked I'm not sure which but uh, you can see it's still getting kind of warm which I'm a little concerned about. I'm a lot concerned about. Uh, I think this is a thermometer though, so as long as that thermometer stays cold, I'm not gonna be too worried about it. It is something I'm probably gonna wanna keep an eye on to make sure it doesn't explode in my face though. Cause that would be bad. All right, let's put you in there. There we go. There we go. And that is That's weird. That is really weird. Oh well. You got your little, oh! Yeah, you can see the fuel now. So it's got a little extra fuel in it. There, so I, I guess you just have to have a, like a ridiculous amount of fuel in it to keep it up. So we've got enough to run for 35 minutes. After running for about two, we have 40 megajoules. Uh, we need about, um, I don't know, 10 gigajoules to run that again. And then we'll be we'll be pretty straight. Okay, so now that we've gotten that running, um, upstairs we have. Let me show you what we're dealing with up here and how we're going to solve the, the problem that we've got up here. Hopefully, it's still still nighttime or daytime. Let's check. I can't tell. The map always looks like day. Nope. Should have known. Should have known. There we go. Snowman. Snowman. How are you, sir? How are you? All right. Trying to resist the urge to go into a coughing fit right now. There we go. Whew. Succeeded. Pyro one lungs. 275 at least probably more points than that actually if I were being truthful oh fuck off man of golems <coughs> excuse me Jesus oh don't you be chasing me damn it damn it I hate these things All right, heading back over here. This is going to be the side of our tree farm. And um, right here, this is the two-part process. This thing chops, this thing sucks. So um, as you can see, we've got some uh, moss in here. we got some sawdust. we got a bunch of sticks. Um, and then obviously it replants the majority of the stuff. Nah, you little bastard. So we're good to go here. What we're going to need to do is we need to find a way to get power out here and power in there. And that's going to be the problem. So what we're going to probably end up having to do is I'm going to have to run an insanely long, and I mean insanely long, set of piping to get that power from in there out to here. And then once we've got that, we're going to have the sucker and we're going to have the blower. Now, I'm pretty sure... We can't use, um, what do you call it? Uh, this sky looks kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't use a energy test rack to move the power. Uh, we may do a quick test on that and see if we can, but I'm pretty sure we can't. So what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna have to make another power source out there. And then once we get that, 
we can um, proceed to make two engines, one in there and one out here. And the one out here will hopefully be enough to channel both of these things running. And then once it's running, we, we're pretty much good to go. So that's going to wrap up this episode. I know it's a little bit short, but um, I can't do much longer than 15 minutes right now with my voice. So hope you guys liked it. If you did, slap that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.